Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Hopage TV Tuner. Um, it's a PC accessory that will turn your computer into a working TV with a DVR. In my opinion, it's the best solution out there to make a DVR because there's no, once you pay for the item, you don't have to pay any monthly fees for channel guides or any of that kind of stuff. It's just a one time fee. It comes with the software, it comes with all the accessories you need to hook it up, and it's about 65 to 75 bucks on Amazon. I'll throw a link down below but it is a pretty good solution. This is what it looks like, just a little bitty item as you can see, and it has on one side of it a um, coax antenna uh, input, so you just put your antenna right there. It does come with an antenna, however, the antenna with it is very small, and um, unless you're traveling with it, I would recommend hooking like a regular rabbit ears or a little bit better antenna onto this. And then um, the other side of it is a standard USB port, it does come with this dongle, make it easier to hook to the back of your computer or laptop. So that'll plug there and then this will go into the back of your computer. Now, for me, I like to watch TV on a regular size TV. I'm going to show you exactly how I hook my desktop up to my home theater, but you could also watch directly on your laptop or computer. Um, there is software that comes with it and that software uh, will allow you to tune in all your digital channels and it'll also have an EPG channel guide which is a nice feature and it'll also have a setup where you can just click on that channel guide to set up your recordings. Now your recordings are going to go to the hard drive on your computer so just kind of keep track of that because depending on what you record you may want to keep track of your space and after you've watched some items just go ahead and delete them. Um, I'm going to show you my uh, setup here and then we'll uh, get to uh, how to download the software and get this thing up and running. Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at some of the um, accessories that I bought to make my um, theater a little easier to deal with. Um, we have this uh, old PC or laptop, anything you want to use is the heart of my um, home theater PC and the Hophouse TV tuner that I already showed you. Now I did add a, a wireless keyboard, this way if you're sitting on the couch or something you can use it just like a regular keyboard on your computer. Uh, this is the Logitech uh, K400 I believe. Yeah, K400R. So if you want that, uh, they're about like 20 to 30 bucks. And then behind it is the little rabbit ears that I use. That is actually what I'm going to hook onto the uh, antenna here. And uh, that'll how I'll get my reception on this setup. All right, so I'm getting ready now to install the software that comes with the um, TV tuner. You may get a link in your receipt. Since I got mine a while back, I'm going directly to the Hop Hodge website. From here, I'm going to go down, and it says uh, right here, it says uh, version 10 Win TV. I'm going to click that, um, and we're going to have to download the application. You can see it's downloading up there in the corner. I may fast forward through this a little to get us to the next page. Okay, so I just fast forwarded it past. Um, to download it didn't take that long but about four minutes four to five minutes so now here's where you uh, begin the setup and it is going to ask you for your activation code so go ahead and keep that handy uh, you should have got that also with your receipts Okay, right here's where we're going to enter your activation code. So I'm going to look for mine and look for yours. Alright, so it accepted my activation code, so um, it's going through its processes here. is finished. Move on to the next step. Okay, so I have the um, HD10 software open, and I have it on a no-signal channel, just so infringement stuff. If I'm showing this particular show or commercial, I'm just going to show you the basic features of the software from here. On the setup is the little gear in the corner there, and you will need this if it's the first time you put it in. To go ahead and scan for your channels, you're going to go over here to where it says devices. 
you're going to click on it and your win tv uh, number uh, item will come up and you're going to click on that and then um, you can pick your channels here you're going to want to do analog and digital all of these channels uh, not external imports or fm radio i've never tried that and you're going to go next and then you're going to um, put your start and ending channel in there but I'm not going to go forward because all of my channels have already been scanned in. But when you finish, you'll have, well, in my case, almost 100 channels. And here's all the channels after you're done scanning. And a, kind of a nice thing, if there's some channels on here you know you're never going to watch, whatever it might be, you can go ahead and unclick them. And then that way they won't be in your guide every time you go surfing through your channels. It'll also save time on uh, updating the channel guide and stuff like that. So just go through, look at any of the channels you want, and you'll be pretty much ready to go. One other quick thing, this is a recordings thing here. It asks you where you want your recordings to go. So if you have multiple hard drives in your computer, you can pick which one, or if you have a large external hard drive you want to put your recordings, you can list it there. And the from then on, Win 10 will automatically put your recordings in that spot. So some of the other features of the software. Um, well, here it went to a channel. Um, it has an information guide right there you can see. Uh, closed caption. I'm going to show you EPG in just a minute. Uh, this uh, bar has all your basic features. It can um, help you find a different channel. If there's a certain channel you want to watch, uh, you would just click that and it'll switch channels for you. Also here you can um, change your picture ratio, stuff like that, zoom. But another thing that's important here is the scheduler. Um, this is where you can manually put in a recording. So if there's something you want to record, you can add it here. You would have to already know what channel and what time to do it from this particular spot. Oops, I don't know how I did that. And you can see the picture is 1080p, it's pretty good. Um, the next thing is the EPG guide that I want to show you. Basically it has all of your shows that are coming up, just kind of like a cable guide, it's by channel. Um, now, it does take a little while to download this uh, when you first open it up. But I'm going to show you a quicker way to do it if you'd rather. But this is nice because now that you have all of your shows up there, you can go ahead and record very easily. Let's say you want to record Encino Man, you would just literally click it on your, on your recording guide and then you will either click record or you can even do season record if it's a TV show. So if you click record, it'll basically set everything up for you. And it's, I clicked it twice, so it's already recording. Now I don't really want that, so I'll cancel the recording. But it makes it that simple anything on the guide you can record. You can go out about four days, but again, each time you uh, update the guide, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes, so that's kind of a pain. Now, another way you can record is using Titan TV, so let me show you how that works. So back on my computer, and when you uh, download uh, Win 10, a uh, Titan TV icon is also going to come up. And it's like its own online program guide. And this is constantly updated. So I've got it set up here. Um, as you can see, it's similar to um, the way the other one looks. It's all filled in already. But let's say you wanted to uh, record a show that's um, at 10 p.m. tonight, the Star Trek Voyager over here. You can click on that. And this little box will pop up and has a little description and it gives you some options here. Um, but one of the options is to record the, um, there's a lot of ads though, I've got to click, get rid of some of these pop-ups. But yeah, so let's say you wanted to record that, you would double click it, and then you can click record here. And that will go ahead and put it on your um, guide without you having to program everything in. So another simple way to add recordings and also just kind of view what's on TV is through the Titan TV guide. Now here, if you click it directly, um, it just gives you information about the show. Uh, it doesn't actually take you to the show because it's, again, it's an online guide, but it's a nice accessory to have along with your Titan. 
And this one, you can also use the regular EPG guide uh, to again record shows in the future, see what's coming on next, or you can go directly uh, from here, you can go directly to watch as well. If you don't want to record, you just want to watch the show. So that's basically it. But it's a pretty cool program and, and it does a good job of turning your laptop or desktop into an over-the-air home theater PC.